A deadly explosion in Poland is now thought to have resulted from Ukraine's air defence system. The US Defence Secretary has today renewed his support for Ukraine and is closely monitoring the investigation by Polish authorities. North America correspondent Carrington Clark joins us now from Washington. Carrington, g'day. So bring us up to date on the latest on this. Yeah, good day, Joe. Well, a little earlier today, we heard from the two top members of the US Defence Forces. Uh, that is the Secretary of Defence, Lloyd Austin, and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Mark Milley. Um, they said they are obviously continuing to watch this situation closely, but they say at this point, they agree with the preliminary finding of the Polish government, which indicates that this explosion in Poland, which caused these two deaths, most likely came from the Ukrainian air defence system. Uh, but Lloyd Austin says the reason that the air defence system was used uh, was because of Russia sending this barrage of rockets into Ukraine, and therefore uh, Vladimir Putin is responsible for these deaths in Poland. The world knows that Russia bears ultimate responsibility for this incident. Russia launched another barrage of missiles against Ukraine, specifically intended to target Ukraine's civilian infrastructure. This tragic and troubling incident is yet another reminder of the rec recklessness of Russia's war of choice. Uh, the U.S. says that it also has investigators on the ground in Poland helping to assess exactly what happened, looking at the trajectory, exactly what, um, what exploded, uh, and says it remains open to those findings, but says it is supportive at this point of that early assessment from the Polish government. Um, it was also clear from the, uh, the two top members of the U.S. military that they wanted to reiterate that they remain fully supportive of Ukraine um, and say that they will remain committed to providing Ukraine with the military hardware that it needs uh, in its defence against Russia, and in particular around air defence systems. Now, the US has donated a huge amount of high-tech uh, military equipment, uh, including the NASAM's uh, air defence system, which the US says at the moment seems to be performing extraordinarily well, 100% success rate, they say. Uh, but they say that, they, that more is obviously needed in Ukraine uh, in order to make sure that it has control of its skies and says it is working with the other members of this contact group, the Ukraine contact group, which is who they were meeting with a little earlier today, about 50 countries who come together to discuss what is needed in Ukraine uh, and say that they are looking at exactly what equipment is needed to provide Ukraine with even further defensive capabilities uh, in order to ensure that attacks like this barrage of missiles that were seen from Russia uh, don't penetrate uh, into, into Ukraine the way that they have been. Okay, Carrington Clark there in Washington.